All right, so I thought just in the interest of keeping this, you know, positive and fun, positive vibes only here, you know, we could, uh, <laughs> when someone has positive vibes only in like their Twitter profile, mm -hmm. I always think like that person is like just a few steps away from wanting to murder everyone. They know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they're just like really projecting. It's like yeah. someone who's like really homophobic and always complaining about gay people. They like secretly have some sort of fear, or maybe, maybe they are just a closet. Well, it's person. like a, a defense mechanism. Positive vibes only. Not really. I hate the world. <laughs> yeah, like if there wasn't a social contract, those people would just be going around with an axe, killing people. Nice. This yeah. is a really positive conversation. So we just want to keep things light and positive <laughs> here on the first episode. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun to acknowledge. You know, I, I think first we should talk a little bit more about what we've been doing in the two months since you yes, took the YouTube ben, break. What else have we been doing? But I thought it could be fun to acknowledge some, you know, we've been watching a little YouTube too, not just Breaking Bad. Yes. And uh, we could give, you know, a little shout out or acknowledge some other YouTubers whose content we've been enjoying. Do people want to know months. who we watch on YouTube? I think Do it you could guys, give people are you some, guys interested? some insight into it's so our personal. strange minds. Isn't it kind of personal to like reveal your recommended feed? Oh my God. I oh yeah. Know. Actually, that's a fun game. That's a dangerous oh, game. Oh, no. Just open your phone and, or make someone open, no. open their phone and show you what YouTube's recommending them. <laughs> that, that's revealing. Like, who is that YouTuber at uh, that event I shouldn't name who was complaining that they kept seeing all this these drama channels oh, about them? Yeah. <laughs> and they're, like, complaining that, like, why is there so much content about me from drama channels in my youtube homepage. in in her recommended yeah and someone and, had to be like yeah it's based on your viewing history yeah that was an awkward moment <laughs> i think she refused to believe that I'm and was sure. still arguing they're like well they exist so why do they exist so she just changed the question yeah but ultimately they were in her recommended feed because she consumed at least one similar content to sure. that, maybe more. Although to be fair, like I'll click on one video about like how Lily Singh isn't funny and all of a sudden my whole homepage is like, Full of that. why Lily Singh isn't funny. And I mean, I don't know. It so it, kinda, is it a problem that those me. videos, that so many of those videos exist or that they're all in your recommended feed now? I just think Which it's, is the problem. it's a sign that it's very easy for your homepage or your recommendations to, be to get driven by taken one thing. over by yeah. one thing. And I guess it's it's based off, you know, the computer doesn't lie, right? The algorithm doesn't lie. There must be a lot of people who would click on one of those videos and then go on to watch 20 more videos about that, which is kind of yeah. sad or weird, right? You know, it's just such a negative thing. Like, even if I don't think somebody's funny, why would I watch 20 videos about how not funny they are? Hey, watch. <laughs> Is that what people are going to YouTube for? I don't know. Some, some people like to hate watch. Comment down below who you hate watch. I'm looking for some. They're, they're hate watching her right kidding. now. Are you hate watching me? <laughs> oh, totally. Like, Simply not logical. Can't talk like a human. Oh, pathetic. Well, if you ever notice, and like, I'm not above occasionally Googling our names and seeing what well, people I are saying. I literally did that for a video. Yeah, sure. And, <laughs> and you'll find like these hate forums and stuff, whatever. But. It's very clear that the people who enjoy disliking you are super invested in the content. Like they know everything. They're making references to old videos. It's people seem to like really be dedicated to not liking people online, which is just such. I've a... also noticed that the types of people in those forums also actively hate on more than one person. So there's kind of a trend going on with those people. And that can be a whole other conversation of the psychology of hating others on the internet. Sure. But it's usually not just they have a passionate hate for one person and that's all they hate on. They usually hate. I mean, hate is a subjective word because maybe they're just offering some criticism that isn't really hate. But mm -hmm. whatever, anything along that spe spectrum, they're often negatively criticizing more than one person is what I've noticed sure. early on. And that kind of... Honestly, in the beginning, like five years ago, when I was like, oh, my God, someone hates me. <laughs> what the what? <laughs> Is this high school? Um, that's how I began to rationalize it and like not get so upset in the beginning was just seeing that like investigating these people, honestly, if I I'm remember. being straightforward, yeah. to understand them because I wanted to understand like their position. And then I learned that, you know, I'd see them talk shit about someone else and the stuff that they said about other people. I was like, that's so unfair. 
and I'll have one good example from so long ago that it doesn't matter. But I remember someone who actively hated me also had a whole thread on how they hate Jenna Marbles. Yeah. And when I saw that, I'm like, oh, no, no, one I'm hate not. Jenna you have Marbles. lost all credibility. <laughs> I am literally never looking at this again. Yeah. Is yeah. there someone less hateable? Yeah, that person, that person is garbage. <laughs> That's funny. I like how I started this out thinking this would be like a positive segment and now we're just talking no, about No, this like this is positive. It. This is good advice because other people could use this when they see, you know, others are talking shit about them. Yeah. Look at that person's life. Look at how they treat other people. Are they treating other people poorly? Then you're just one peg in their belt or no what's the what's the expression <laughs> no, one notch, notch in, the in their belt. belt like they don't really care <laughs> that they they hate a whole bunch of people it's just a past yeah they don't actually care. it's a personality if you thing. met that person in real life yeah. they would want a picture with you're you. not the problem <laughs> they are they're just really yeah. upset about this it's kind of too bad like it would be nice if there was actually constructive criticism sometimes the there is what, what do you mean there's no it's constructive. pretty hard to come across because it's it's really especially when you're a youtuber with a big following or any online uh, celebrity or whatever you want to say you have people who really love you who are going to say you're great no matter what you do and then the people who are going to hate you just because they enjoy hating you it's yeah. actually hard to gauge or get a sense of the temperature of what like just some objective person would think of something you did right it's hard to actually get that feedback at a certain point yeah and i will say that i i'm, I'm aware of this of all not all but of a lot of the bigger youtubers i am incredibly lucky mm -hmm. um and well positioned i guess uh that i don't have a ton of hate i don't have big controversies around surrounding me or drama channels making videos about me trying to tear me yeah. apart i'm lucky that that hasn't happened to me despite having seven million subscribers because Oftentimes, you just reach a certain threshold and it doesn't matter what you do, you're going to get shit. That's not to say, like, I haven't had some forms on me, whatever. That's just, sure. like, part of the job. But I've been so... I've been lucky that I haven't had it, like, spin into something crazy. I just... I don't think... I think that's wrong just because you think it's it's not luck. Are you telling me I'm wrong? <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong. No, I'm saying Bam. it is a good thing that you haven't been subject to a lot of that crap, but... It's not just a sheer matter of luck, right? It's because you haven't put yourself in the positions to make it easy for people to actually involve you in a controversy, let's say. And I, let's be honest, there are big YouTubers who have made careers and have become much more successful by embracing controversy by, you know, any press is good press, right? Yeah, I'll never understand that. Or I mean, I understand it, but I would never want to do that to myself. <laughs> I would yeah, hate I myself mean, more if I did that. It's just so sad how easily that works, you know. It's kind of a bummer. Yeah, okay, so what about positive that positive vibes vibes? Only. <laughs> Okay, no, so let's talk about... Wait, wait, I, let me add something. You guys are, like, a huge reason why I have such a positive following. You know, everyone in, in the Simply Neological community is so nice, so supportive. I see you guys, like, commenting to each other in support of each other or while i was gone you were guys sharing stories about what your favorite video was or how you miss me and how you wish i'm okay and you make these like cute edits <laughs> so you guys honestly are, are what makes me feel good and you make others feel good too in the comments because people want to see positivity so if you're giving me or ben a compliment sometimes it's good for other people just to see like someone behaving nicely you know what i yeah, mean yeah. So I like that about you guys. You, you know, guys are the best. I'm a, I'm a sock. <laughs> you have a, yeah, you have a positive fan base, I would say. A positive podcast. Positive vibes only. <laughs>